you are researching the Aston Martin DB11 V8, you either have impeccable taste, a surplus of disposable income, or a lot of smarts. Smarts you say? Yes, and we say that because the DB11 V8 model is one heck of a bargain. Well, on second thought, maybe bargain is a stretch, but stay with us here. The DB11, previously only available with a V12 engine, now offers a V8 which is arguably more pleasing to drive, and yet costs less money. We know it might sound too good to be true, but there's a lot more than price that will surprise you about this exquisite Grand Tourer. Let's start off with the most obvious of questions, wouldn't a V8 version of the DB11 be considered less than if a V12 version is available? Our answer is an emphatic no. Without getting into the minutiae of the mechanics and avoiding the gearhead gibberish, we found that the experience behind the wheel of the DB11 V8 was just as dynamic as when we drove the V12. We actually prefer the V8, it sings its own lovely exhaust notes that are as delicious, but unique, from the V12 model and that V8 engine gives up little in terms of performance. The beautiful thing about the V8 is that all that power doesn't get away from you as easily as it can in the V12. And with three driving modes to choose from, GT, Sport and Sport Plus, you have the option to get rowdy when you like. We found the GT mode to be just the right mix, it was firm, but not enough to be uncomfortable. And although we enjoyed carving corners in the other two sport modes, we think there is something to be said for cruising in GT mode soaking up the experience of driving an Aston Martin. The DB11 is a grand touring car, and you'll want to take some time if you want to learn how grand the Aston Martin experience can be. It bears repeating that the V8 engine found under the hood of the DB11 is no ordinary engine. It comes from AMG, Mercedes-Benz's renowned high-performance specialist. The engine, which is also found in several burly Mercedes OMG models like the GT and S63, is a starting point. The twin-turbocharged 4.0-litre V8 gets further modified so that it meets all of the qualities Aston Martin is known for most notably the sound and feel behind the wheel. The DB11 V8 produces 503 horsepower and 498 pounds-feet of torque and can go from 0 to 62 miles per hour in a mere 4 seconds. Given the fact that McDonald's offers handcrafted burgers on their menu, it's easy to feel like the term has completely jumped the shark. But it's not just tired marketing here. Each Aston Martin DB11 is built by hand. It takes over 300 hours to build just one. Although many of its components are borrowed from other automakers, the infotainment system in the car is actually by Mercedes-Benz, for example. Aston Martin quickly acquaints its owner with the true meaning of craftsmanship through its offerings. The multi-layered leather interior with intricate hand stitching is more akin to an expensive handbag or pair of shoes than your average car seat upholstery. The Aston Martin DB11 is almost too stunning for words. Low slung with a sleek and sinewy profile. It manages to look both sinister and regal at the same time. It's too classy to be considered flashy, but it just can't stop attracting attention as long as it's visible. No matter where we stopped during our test drive, people kept asking us what we were driving, and we even had one person so eager to know what the DB11 was that he gestured to roll down the window as we were driving so he could ask. The beauty and uniqueness of the DB11's design cannot be understated. It looks like no other car you've seen. Interestingly enough, although the DB11 V8 is over 250 pounds lighter than its V12 sibling, you need a keen eye to discern which is which between the two models. The visual differences are subtle, the V8 has two vents on the hood, the V12 has four, and the wheels are unique to the V8. We also noticed that Aston Martin is spelled out across the rear of the V8 where the V12 just sports the Aston Martin badge on the lid. The two really do look almost identical, until you pop the hood.
The Aston Martin DB11 V8 is truly in a class of its own and is therefore almost without competition. Although it is called a Grand Tourer, once you place it in the company of more traditional high-end GTs like Bentley, it starts to look more like a sports car. But, when you try to compare it against higher octane exotics like a Lamborghini or Ferrari, the DB11 shows it's much more than a hot seat. The next jump would be to try and compare the Aston Martin with several Mercedes OMG models since they share the same engine, but the DB11 transcends even AMG's status and class. And of course, you could compare luxury and horsepower with Porsche or even the new Lexus LC500. But somehow, Aston Martin makes even those two luxury powerhouse brands appear pedestrian. An Aston Martin has spirit and vigor that can't be matched. Its technical specs are impressive, its pedigree even more so, but there is something uniquely special about the Aston Martin brand that's difficult to pinpoint. Six-figure supercars can easily be purchased by anyone with money but the DB11 buyer has a reverence for the design and craftsmanship of an Aston Martin that extends well beyond their bank accounts. Speaking of bank accounts, it should be no surprise that that DB11 will set you back a bit, the DB11 V8 starts just under $200,000 at $198,995, this starting price is about $16,000 lower than its 5.2 litre V12 sibling.